got sir. What does he say? I fight any day of the week and twice on a Sunday. Come on, no hands. Not the giggle berries. All right, Tyson Fury, heavyweight boxer, national treasure, and if recent tabloid reports are to be believed, serial masturbator. If that's a bad thing, then I'm a bad person. That's right, this guy tinkers with his todger no fewer than six times a day. <sighs> Sounds painful. Anyway, the Gypsy King has a big fight coming up against Deontay Wilder on February 22nd, and as is customary in the lead up to the fight, Tyson's nutritionist has shared his daily diet plan. So, um, I'm gonna try and eat it. That's what we do. Anyway, we've got one big old bowl of Greek yogurt with mixed berries, salmon cakes with jalapenos, and more Greek yogurt, chicken skewers with tzatziki, I think that's Greek, red meat curry, which is strangely ambiguous. I went for lamb rogan josh, big rogan josh fan. Honey salmon fillet with quinoa and Greek rice, and some apple and cranberry stuffed pork loin with Quinoa, spinach, walnuts, and butternut squash. What kind of heavyweight boxer is this guy? I think you'll find he's an exceptional boxer, Chris Eubank. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, this is Baby's Food, and this is a Tyson Fury daily diet challenge. Who's <sighs> good? All right, so I'll put up a calorie count on screen, and we'll start a timer just for fun, and we'll say, what, the last fight went 12 rounds, three minutes a round, 36 minutes to finish. Sounds fair enough. There. That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll start with the uh, salmon. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. What's up, baby? Homie? Welcome back to another video and uh, listen to this music. Had to get some funk going for the sexiest man in boxing, Tyson Fury. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's whose diet we're doing today. Oh, the big gray scaly bit from a salmon fillet. Ooh. Look at that. Still, it's gotta go down. Ugh, yeah, nothing will send shivers down your spine like eating a big oily piece of fish skin. <laughs> For some reason, I started with the last meal of the day rather than the first, which is the yogurt. Yeah, quotes. For some reason, also known as just my complete ineptitude, when, uh, <laughs> when structuring a video, but we're eating, that's what counts. All right, that's the uh, sweet chili honey salmon and quinoa with Greek rice down. I'll come clean, I have no idea what Greek rice is, so that was just regular rice at the back. All right, next we'll do the uh, chicken skewers. Onto the skewers, but uh, straight talking, the salmon that we started with there, that was delicious, I really enjoyed it. I like fish in general, I eat a lot of it through the week. Not usually salmon, because it's a little more calorie dense than something like tuna, but uh, I love cold, fresh salmon, far better than I like hot salmon. I suppose I understand why you would eat, you know, skewered meat, if you like, on the go. But there's no reason, if you like eating at home, to ever eat meat on a skewer, just eat it off the plate, right? much easier than trying to stick one of those things in your mouth. Yeah, quit whining, you bum, you chump. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of boxing insults off the top of my head. Skewers exist, deal with it. I did, um, I totally torched the chicken though. Imagine that's not really a problem for Mr. Fury, because apparently he has his own professional chef on call. All right, I won't tell a lie. That chicken, it didn't come out as well as a giant Super Bowl hot dog I cooked last week. So I think my culinary skills still need slight improvement, but that's done now. I'm gonna move on to, I'm really looking forward to this course. This is the pork loin with stuffing, cranberry sauce, apple, and a bunch of fruity vegetables. But, I mean, I know Tyson is from uh, Lancashire, but I'm from Yorkshire and over here, you don't eat meat without gravy, so here we go. Ooh, this gravy's thick. Oh my goodness. This is really more of a, a 
I don't know, goo or chutney than gravy. I got that all wrong. <laughs> Let's dig in. Oh, disappointed by the gravy. <laughs> I have no idea what I did with that gravy. It was like jellified. Some of that apple sauce on there. Yeah, thankfully the uh, both the apple sauce and the cranberry sauce kind of saved the day because the uh, the gravy was a was a total washout. <laughs> This apple sauce is fantastic. Ah, uh, it's because it's the uh, the as the luxury range. Now it all makes sense. Tyson's on pay per view. I'm sure he can afford the luxury stuff. Yeah, it's got to be 100% Bramley apples for the champ. <laughs> now this weird spinach nut quinoa and uh, squash combination. Yeah, this one was kind of a, a curveball because if Rocky taught me anything, it's that boxers like to keep things simple usually. That was not bad at all. You know, we're talking like raw eggs, beef, chicken, not a bunch of fruity vegetables. 15 minutes. All right, let's do the uh, the fish cakes. So I'm really looking forward to the, the curry. It's been a while since I ate curry, actually. Last time was probably the uh, Smithy from Gavin and Stacey. Big, famous curry order challenge. All right, fish cakes. Not just any fish cakes, though. Salmon fish cakes. With a little bit more Greek yogurt. Sounds like a bit of an odd combination. Yeah, again, I wasn't a huge fan of this particular course. I like fish cakes as much as the next man, believe me, but in conjunction with Greek yogurt and jalapenos, just didn't feel right. I think of Greek yogurt as kind of like a, a sweet thing, like dessert. The beaker is back. All right, those uh, fish cakes were not particularly appetizing. And um, I've just left all the jalapenos to the end of this particular course. This is not gonna be, uh, this is not gonna be yummy. Those things were hot. Been a while since I did a spicy challenge, actually. If that's anything to go by, I might give it a miss for a, a few months yet. Yeah. <laughs> curry! I'm really looking forward to this. All right, onto the curry now. And um, this is authentic. You don't maintain a physique like, <laughs> like Tyson Fury's without the occasional uh, curry, but um, this is good. Lamb Rogue and Josh. Oh, my nose is running. Those jalapenos got me on the ropes. <laughs> that was a terrible gag. Yeah, then why'd you tell it? <laughs> Actually, to be fair, boxing is like a whole genre of jokes, so I could have done uh, a lot more terrible gags, but um, I refrained this week from that and innuendos. Although I should apologize if you sat there with your kids now trying to explain that statistic from the, the intro. All right, and um, plenty of time. We're gonna finish off with what should have been the first meal of the day. I'll clean this spoon off. Look at this, leaving no doubt. A couple of sticklers told me I left a chip in the last video. <laughs> Greek yogurt with mixed berries. I'm gonna put some honey on here. I probably eat kilos of Greek yogurt every week. It's just not the same without honey. Oh yeah, I could eat Greek yogurt with honey all day long. I love it. A lot of people ask me what I eat on um, days when I'm not filming videos usually. And uh, people don't tend to believe me when I say I eat pretty much a tuna salad and a bowl of Greek yogurt with some blueberries. And that's it. There's a little bit of variety now and then, but pretty much this is. This is what I would be eating on a, on a normal day. Although the bowl wouldn't be this big. Yeah, true story. It would be uh, like a tiny bowl or maybe some cottage cheese. Anyway, 
I don't want to get into the boring stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Oops. <laughs> All right, that, ladies and gents, was the uh, Tyson Fury Daily Diet Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're watching the fight, whenever it is, it's the 22nd. I don't know if that's a Saturday or Sunday, whatever. If you're watching it, enjoy it. Hope Tyson wins. Sincerely hope he wins. I'm sure there'll be plenty of uh, banter either way. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope you can join me for the next one, you big... Stiff plums. <laughs> Get root, dosa. There's glass everywhere.